Hello, I have another devlog for you. Um, so one of the issues we've been kind of like dealing with is because of the split ending, um, Vizemes were not working on Linux because on Linux we were actually using a hybrid approach where the main process is uh, .NET 9 native, like Linux native runtime, uh, but the unit runtime is the one learning on the proto. Uh, but the audio is all handled in the main process, um, which is an issue because uh, the library that's currently used, OBR lip sync, um, doesn't actually exist for Linux. Uh, it's not offered. Uh, it is a proprietary solution by uh, Meta, uh, and it's pretty much been the only thing around. Fortunately, uh, thanks to our super cool community, uh, specifically Kao Biaru, uh, they started a project called Open Lip Sync which is now natively integrated. So you can see if I look at the Vizim analyzer over here, I'm currently using a VR lip sync, and if I switch it, I can actually switch to another library. And now this is using open lip sync to analyze my Vizims, which is kind of interesting. Like uh, if I do, uh, e, what is interesting about it is like a lot more kind of responsive. Like it's like, quite a bit faster but some of it doesn't like detect quite a bit but uh this is still very early project but it's already kind of very promising uh and what's best about it it's multi-platform uh i'm using it on windows uh, if you're on linux then if you use the ovr lip sync um this will fall back to open lip sync because ovr lip sync is not available on linux on windows you can choose either depending on which one you prefer um so this is coming in the next build. Um, it's also fun, like you know, just being able to do like live comparison with this. Uh, so and most importantly for any users on Linux, uh, this essentially makes it so Vizemes will work again. So huge thanks to Kyobi. Uh, thank you for like you know putting this library together. This is like I think a great, um, great alternative, and we're very happy to kind of offer it officially. And one of the reasons I'm also making this video is I want to, like, you know, shine some light on it. So in case you're interested in contributing or, like, you know, looking into this library, um, check the update notes, check the disk, uh, sorry, the comment, like, I should put, the, oh, the description, I mean, uh, for the link to GitHub repo, uh, definitely give it some attention. Uh, as the library kind of improves, we'll, you know, merge and update the version of it. So this should, like, improve over time. Um, and hopefully, eventually, we'd like, you know, make this be something that's the main solution for um, the primary solution. And maybe, like, we'll even drop this one completely, or maybe we'll, you know, keep it around. But um, it's great to have alternatives. So thank you very much for watching the video. Um, let me make some more few sounds. I'm going to just do, like, a comparison. You can do... Uh, e Can kind of it's kind of fun just like you know flipping back and forth and seeing how it kind of compares um hopefully maybe this also helps you know with development of the library just being able to toggle back and forth um though you can only do that on windows unfortunately because you know this won't work on linux this will fall back but uh this helps a lot so thank you very much for watching and see you with the next devlog Bye.